This editor has just received two video clips from a podcast, but when she tried to synchronize the clips, Premiere failed. Why? If you look closely, the audio waveforms are completely different, and this is because each clip only contains audio from one guest. This means that our poor editor must manually figure out how to synchronize the conversation. Hey, you! Me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Okay. Stop editing this way. There is software that can record you and your guests and synchronize it for you, so you can get to the creative editing faster. So, do you want to learn about it? Yeah. Perfect, let's jump on in. There are many different types of setups you can have for your video podcast. So I'm gonna show you two different levels of setups, a beginner budget-friendly setup, and then also a little bit higher budget setup. And using your gear, I'm gonna show you how to hook it up to the Riverside Studio, which makes it easy to record yourself and all of your guests and edit it fast. Let's get started with the budget-friendly setup. So right now I'm inside the Riverside Studio. By the way, you can use my code GALFREE to get 30 days free of Riverside Pro or live. So I'll put a link to that down below. So here I'm connected to the FaceTime built-in webcam on my Apple computer, but with connecting my iPhone into my laptop here, I can now select my iPhone and look at that. The image I think is a lot better. Another thing to note is that you should get a tripod for your iPhone. I find that that works best because then I can adjust how high I want my phone to be. So you can see I have the Sandmark iPhone tripod right in front of my computer. For audio here, I recommend a budget microphone. The one that I have here is the Maono PD200W. It actually can be connected wirelessly. So you can see I don't have any cables. It's just connected via a wireless transmitter that is connected into my computer. And this is great because it's actually a pretty cheap microphone for the quality that you get. Right now, I think there's a sale for like $84, but of course there's even cheaper microphones that also sound great, which I'll link to down below. All right, so we have our podcast microphone set up. We have our camera set up. What about the lighting when you're on a budget? For this setup, I just purchased a $40 ring light that I could clamp onto my desk. And this is great if you have a smaller space and you can't set up an additional tripod because there's not enough space to walk around. There's a couple different modes on this light but you can angle it perfectly towards your face. Now, obviously I have a neon sign in the background here too, which is great to break up the background from the foreground. This is completely optional. But right now, if you're just getting started, just get a ring light like this off of Amazon. And it's a great way to just give you a nice budget-friendly key light to illuminate your face. So for this beginner setup, it's a little less than $150. Of course, that does not include the cost of the iPhone and the computer as well. So this is just for a good microphone, an iPhone tripod, and one light to get you started. But if you're looking for something a little bit more professional looking, let's go into the professional setup. So the key to a professional setup, which I'm in right now, is a better camera, and better lighting. And of course you can get a better microphone too, but it's optional. So what I've done here, instead of using an iPhone camera, which is what I was using before, I'm using a mirrorless camera that I converted into a webcam. So the way I did that is I took my mirrorless camera that I use for my normal YouTube videos and I took a mini HDMI cable to HDMI cable into a capture card and the capture card connects to my laptop. And basically it takes the signal the HDMI image signal from my camera and turns it into a camera that I can use inside of Riverside. You can see here from the dropdown, I'm using the FHD capture, which is the capture card connection. And you can see that the image quality looks better, right? Because the lens that I use actually goes down to an aperture of two, which makes the background a little bit more blurry. Now you could get a little bit of that on your iPhone, but it's not as good as your classic mirrorless camera. Another thing is the lighting. So above me right now, I have a softbox light that is by GVM. And on the left, I have a fill light. It's a tube light on the side. Also behind me, you'll notice I have this kind of glow. I have this little LED panel that illuminates my background to again, create more separation. If I turn that off, what a difference. Like 
you can't really see the background with that off. And this thing is super cheap. I got it off of Amazon. It's just one of those cheap little LED panels. Another thing you can do if you really want to level it up is you can get a higher end microphone, like an XLR microphone. So the one that I used before, the Myono, you can also use an XLR cable with that as well, but you need to also get an audio interface to connect it to the computer. So I have the Lewitt Connect 2 audio interface, and this is the Lewitt Ray microphone, which is a much higher quality microphone than the Myono. Lewitt also comes with a control center. So from the Lewitt control center, I have my clip guard on to prevent the peaking. I have compression just to make it a more finished leveled sound. And I have a clean preset on and the gain is set at 41, and you can control your gain for your voice using this control center, which is great. So let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side of the budget setup next to the professional setup. To start recording your podcast from the homepage in Riverside, just click on this record button. All right, so the first thing you do is you can type in your name. I'm gonna leave mine as Premier Gal, and you have the option to wear headphones or not. If you're not wearing headphones, then it will put on the echo cancellation. Just a hot tip, if you have two people that are hosting and you have two microphones, you'll both wanna be wearing headphones. I'm gonna put I'm not wearing headphones for now. And then over on the right, this is where I can choose my camera like we did before. So I'm gonna use the capture card. And for the microphone, I'm going to use my Connect to the Lewitt Audio, which is connected here. And then for uh, speakers, I'm just gonna use my built-in speakers. Um, if you have headphones on, you'll wanna select your headphones. And then join studio. So if you're a solo podcaster, you can go ahead and hit record and it will get recorded into your Riverside account. But if you want to add a guest, what's really cool is you can just go up here and copy this link and invite my editor. Hey, Ricker, thanks for joining my podcast. Of course, yeah. Thank you for having me. Have you been doing any cold plunges? I, I get my fair share of that anyways, you know, with <laughs> just being alive. Another option is you can add an in-person guest. So if you had somebody that you wanted to sit next to you in the same framing, you can click on add an in-person guest. And then I can close this window down here. Then you have this option to have an in-person participant one. Now this isn't a separate camera angle, this is just a separate microphone. So I could choose a different microphone here. I'm just gonna choose the MacBook Pro microphone. I could also hook up the Myono microphone and we can both sit next to each other. Now this is where we need to put headphones on. And then you can hear each other better too. So then I would choose my output to external headphones. And if you needed another person to have headphones on, you can get some of those splitters. Before you hit record, you may also wanna go over here to brand, and this is where you can choose a brand color. So if I wanted this to be yellow, it would have a yellow frame around me. If you want, you can change a background. So you can go ahead and hit the plus, and then you can add a color behind me here. I can also add my logo. If I click on this and I can adjust the placement of it. Now this is mainly for the live stream itself. You can also make updates when you edit later on, which I will show you. And of course you can adjust the font. Right now I have it set to Montserrat font here and you can play around with these different styles uh, for your lower third. So if I go up to settings here, you can see that uh, you can choose the resolution. So you can choose to have it record up to 4K Ultra HD. And this is for cameras that support 4K, of course. You can choose that. And you can also add noise reduction if you need to. So if there's significant background noise, I would turn this on. But if you have a fairly quiet studio, don't turn it on because it's not necessary to remove. There's no background noise to remove. So from here, I can begin recording and it will count down. Welcome to the Premier Gal podcast. On today's episode, we're going into all the gear, all the lighting, all the audio, everything you need to have a successful remote podcast studio. Thanks for joining the podcast, everybody, and I'll see you next time. One thing to remember here, once you hit stop, you wanna wait for your video to finish uploading. You can see mine's at 70-ish percent, and then once it's done, you can then close the tab. Same goes for your guests. 
good tip to have. So once you're done recording your podcast, there is a way to export your recording from Riverside to edit in Premiere Pro, which is really cool. But first I wanna show you how easy it is to now edit inside of Riverside. So I'm gonna to go to a previous recording here, this one called Emma and Kelsey. This is where Emma was interviewing me about my Premiere Gal story. This still frame isn't the best one, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit here. So first off, you have your very intuitive timeline here, which is all synced up. Also over here, this is a transcript of everything that is said. So if I click on one moment, it'll take me to that moment in your interview or podcast. And what's really cool is in the beginning of the video, you can see that we were just chatting. So we didn't actually need any of this. So I can just highlight all of this text here until the actual interview starts. And then I'm just going to click on delete. So now you can see the part that we deleted is grayed out. And now the podcast starts with Emma introducing herself and then me following her. And so this is the benefit of text-based editing, right? Is you can select any sentence, just like a Word document, and that's edited from your video timeline. Another really useful thing that I think you'll find interesting as an editor is you can make rounded corner split screens really fast. Let's go to design and we can add spacing and then you can choose rounded corners. And look at that, it's rounded. In Premiere Pro, this would take a long time. You'd have to create a mask. You'd have to add some rounded corners. It's a lot more involved. Plus you can add an image background like so. You can choose any of these presets or you can upload your own if you want, or you can just choose a solid color of your choice. Also inside the editor, you can further refine your branding. So you can go over here to branding, and what's really cool underneath design is you can adjust the spacing of your split screen. And you can also use the slider to adjust how much roundness you want on the edges all the way to a circle. I also wanna note it looks a little low res right now. That's because we're editing it online, but once we export, it'll be higher resolution. One more thing here is if you click here on this icon, expand tracks, this is where you can see the audio track separated out. So you can see that this is my audio track and this is Emma's audio. Also, what's really cool is that there's a little chapter showing you what is being talked about. So here, the future of editing in the age of AI, it'll tell me what we talk about briefly in this segment. So if I wanted to add music at this moment, I can go down here to add music and I can choose from their royalty-free library. Let's go ahead and try this one. Let's add this. And here it is down below. We can go ahead and play this. Challenges mentally. It's a little bit loud, so we can select this and go to volume and effects and let's bring it down. And you can use these sliders to quickly fade in and fade out. Let's see how it sounds. The way it is, like, you know, obviously it's not just me scripting, it's setting up a business, doing bookkeeping, hiring people. All right, so now we have some background music at this moment. And you can do this as many times as you want. You can have it fade in and fade out and add more music throughout. Just wanted to show you that because it's useful, right? I love this still frame. <sighs> Another thing that's new to the Riverside editor is their co-creator. So you can use the co-creator to perform certain tasks quickly for you. So there's little buttons here, suggestions on what to do. So it could be improve sound to studio quality if you want that. In my case, it would be great to remove the fluff, pauses and filler words. So if I click on that, it's essentially an AI tool that's thinking. All right, so you can see the review actions taken, but what is fluff? Well, right here, it shows you one of five. The AI producer said, remove this portion as it is from the period preceding the actual discussion. It knew that and that's from zero to 18 seconds. So we can go ahead and ignore that or apply that. So you can read these suggestions and choose to apply or ignore. And this part here is actually correct. This is us discussing how I'm gonna share the podcast files with her. So I'm actually going to hit apply to remove that. So now you can see that the AI producer was able to remove all these pauses and filler words automatically and make suggestions to remove some of that fluff. And one more thing that's super cool, if we go back 
and we scroll down, you'll see that Riverside automatically made magic clips, kind of viral shareable moments from the podcast that we didn't have to edit, it was made for us. So you can click on this just to preview what it looks like. Nobody will care, like nobody said that. Like that's your own self doubt just attacking yourself. I didn't have to edit anything there. The captions were good. It cut to Emma's reaction. So freaking good. Let's check out another one. This one's always a difficult one because obviously there's always challenges when you run your own business. I agree with that, Kelsey. Well said. <laughs> so I just want to reiterate here how easy Riverside makes it for you to share little clips from your full podcast without feeling overwhelmed like, oh, I still have to make all these clips. All I have to do in here is just click on edit and maybe make some adjustments to the captions because I didn't like how they were like directly in the center of the frame. I can move those down and then I have a shareable clip. I think it's a huge time saver. If you're like me and you're a professional editor in Premiere Pro and you love to have a ton of manual control, here's a cool little tip. You can head back over to recordings, you can go down to export all, and rather than downloading all the tracks, you can click on Premiere Pro. And then from here, export the timeline. So this is gonna generate a Premiere Pro project file that you can then open up and everything will be synced. I already made a full video on how to open up the XML Premiere Pro project from Riverside and further customize your split screens inside of Premiere Pro. So if you're interested in watching that, you can click the card up here or down below in the description box to go watch that. So what did you all think about the setups, the beginner setup versus the professional setup? What tools are your favorite inside of Riverside? Let me know in a comment below. And if you have any questions at all, don't be shy. And thanks again to Riverside for reaching out and sponsoring this video and setting you up with the promo code GALFREE to get 30 days free of Riverside Pro or Live, which is awesome. That's all for today's video. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Whoop.